In this video, I'm gonna show you the specific set of symptoms that will allow you to tell if you have normal, typical fatigue that's not really a concern, maybe just a sign of being temporarily overstressed or overworked or undersleeping, or if you have a more serious kind of pathological fatigue that's a sign of deeper cellular dysfunction in your body. Before we get into it, I also wanna mention, if you're interested in overcoming fatigue or increasing your energy levels, we've put together an amazing, epic, science-based guide to the top supplements for energy enhancement. You can go download that at theenergyblueprint.com forward slash cheat sheet. Okay, so let's get into the video. Secret number one, there is a specific set of symptoms that can tell you if you have normal fatigue or a more serious and concerning kind of fatigue. First of all, fatigue has become an epidemic and it's become so common that it's actually become normalized. People think it's normal to be fatigued. Now, a lot of people think that if you have fatigue or chronic fatigue, it just it must mean that you, you have chronic fatigue syndrome, diagnosable chronic fatigue syndrome that's of a really significant, severe and debilitating level. Well, that's not true. Let me, let me explain it this way. Within the United States, there are one to four million Americans that suffer from full-blown chronic fatigue syndrome. There are another 10 million Americans that suffer from fibromyalgia. Now, there are st similar statistics in other Western countries. I'm just using the United States as an example here. Now, this situation is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the worst case scenario, and this is as extreme as fatigue gets. But it's critical to understand that fatigue is not just severe diagnosable chronic fatigue syndrome. It's a spectrum. It runs the gamut from severe debilitating chronic fatigue to much more mild fatigue like the day-to-day -day 3 p.m. afternoon crash or a general tiredness that's sometimes constant or shows up without warning or simply waking up still tired and groggy every day or just noticing that you're not nearly as energetic as you used to be. And this is really, really important to get. There are 50 to 100 times more people with mild or moderate fatigue or chronic fatigue or chronic lack of energy levels that are not yet totally debilitating. To give you an idea of this, here are some statistics. So in the American Psychological Association's 2012 Stress in America survey, 45% of women reported feeling chronically fatigued due to stress. Another study found 24% of adults report having fatigue lasting two weeks or longer, and two thirds of these people can't identify the cause of their fatigue. Another one found that more than half of us experience feelings of constant tiredness during the day at work. And another study found that among adults older than 60 years old, one in three have severe chronic fatigue. So that's how common this is. But because it's so common, people don't even realize that there's anything wrong with being tired all the time. They think it's normal. Now, of course, feeling a little bit tired or wanting to lay down and rest after a long day of hard physical and mental work is totally normal. But being fatigued or feeling drained constantly is most definitely not normal. It's your body crying for help. So how do you know if you have just regular normal tiredness, which is not a sign of anything wrong and maybe just means that you need a vacation or a little more sleep or a little time off work, or if you have something that's a sign of a much more serious problem? It turns out that there's a very specific set of signs and symptoms to know if you have normal tiredness versus more serious pathological fatigue. Here are the key symptoms to be aware of. So first of all, the most basic one is, are you tired or do you feel chronic lack of energy or exhaustion frequently during the day, most days, and for more than just a few days, but more like weeks or months or years? Do you have brain symptoms like anxiety, brain fog, depression, or brain-related fatigue? Do you have gut issues like bloating, gas, abdominal pain, or food intolerances? Do you have widespread body aches or pains? Are you addicted to sugar or do you need food every couple of hours to maintain your energy levels? Do you have post-exertional malaise, which means you feel really exhausted and wiped out for a day or two or three following physical activity? Do you have trouble sleeping? Okay, so here's how this breaks down. To be even more specific, if you have a combination of frequent fatigue during the day and trouble sleeping, and again, what this means is, you're tired a lot during the day, but despite being tired, you have trouble sleeping. If you have that combination going on, then you have the first key signs of cellular dysfunction and a more serious concerning kind of chronic fatigue. Now, if you have frequent fatigue during the day and trouble sleeping, 
and you also have some brain symptoms like brain fog or anxiety or depression or brain-related fatigue, which is you, your brain kind of gets sleepy and tired or you kind of shut down and get fatigued following any mentally demanding task like driving a car or doing work or reading a book or something like that. If you have any of those brain symptoms plus fatigue and trouble sleeping, now you have an even more severe and concerning kind of serious chronic fatigue that's a sign of cellular dysfunction. And finally, if you have frequent fatigue during the day, trouble sleeping, brain symptoms like brain fog, anxiety, depression, etc., and you have either one of these two things, post-exertional malaise or widespread pain and body aches, now you have potentially the symptoms that may indicate chronic fatigue syndrome or fibromyalgia. Now, this is not an official diagnosis by any means. You need to go to your doctor for that, but these symptoms definitely suggest that. Post-exertional malaise is actually one of the key di diagnostic symptoms for chronic fatigue syndrome. So if you have that symptom, which means you feel exhausted or wiped out for, for a day or two or three following even brief episodes of physical activity, that is a strong sign of very serious dysfunction in your body. So this is what this spectrum looks like. On one end, we have a high energy body, and this is the optimal scenario. This is where your body and brain are producing energy optimally and you are extremely healthy. And then we start getting into, you know, maybe you're mostly healthy, but you're just dealing with some mild stress or mild sleep deprivation or being overworked and you're starting to get some symptoms. And then you get into more of the moderate fatigue, which is characterized by some of the symptoms we just talked about. Now you're starting to get sleep impairment, maybe the emergence of some of those brain related symptoms, brain fog, anxiety, depression, brain related fatigue. And then as these symptoms get more severe, now you're getting into more serious chronic fatigue. And then on the end of this spec this part of the spectrum now you're getting into severe debilitating chronic fatigue syndrome that's characterized by mostly losing your functionality losing your capacity for physical activity spending a lot of day in bed not being able to to hold down a job because your brain can't perform that well and that's the extreme of how bad fatigue can get so it's, it's important to understand this spectrum again a lot of people think fatigue just means oh if you have chronic fatigue that must mean you have chronic fatigue syndrome. No, you can have mild or moderate fatigue and be somewhere in here and still be quite far away from having a high energy body and being optimally energetic. Now it's important to understand if you have these symptoms, this is not something you wanna ignore and keep pushing through as you try to get things done. That is a terrible mistake. Hey there, thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful and you're there thinking, man, I'd really like some help to get this area of my life sorted out, to overcome fatigue and to massively increase my physical energy levels. Well, I wanna help you do that. So if you go to the energyblueprint.com forward slash cheat sheet, I have a free ebook that I would love to give you. Now, this is not a cheapy ebook. This is something I could easily sell for 50 bucks, 100 bucks. This is packed with gold. It is packed with the information, critically important and powerful information on the top 30 supplements, science-backed supplements to boost your physical energy levels. Now I'm talking about non-stimulant supplements. This is not an ebook filled with, you know, caffeine and, and nicotine and other stimulants, uh, stuff that gives you a temporary boost, but actually makes your energy worse in the long run. This is all about the best, most powerful science-backed supplements that are non-stimulants that are proven to actually build your body's capacity to produce energy at the cellular level, to build real energy, a real high energy body. So again, go to the energyblueprint.com forward slash cheat sheet, all one word, cheat sheet. And on that page, you can download this ebook for free. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please share it and make sure to go to that page and download that ebook so you can get started increasing your energy levels today.